the way, Scrappin' Sisters out there, I'd like to thank Green Moo from my lot. She asked me today what brads were. So I thought what a perfect thing to talk about in our vlog today. And brads, and of course now that I put all this stuff up here, I have to try to get it out from underneath the pile I put it in. Brads are paper fasteners. You might remember them from elementary school. They were round and silver. We used them to put together our paper skeletons so that they would have movable joints. Um, that's what I uh, remember brads being when I was a kid. And they have been taken now into scrapbooking. And they come in various shapes and colors and sizes as well. So, for example, here's my little, let's see if you can see it. Here's my little brad box right there. It has some brads in it. And they have many different colors, and like I said, and sizes. So here's some small, oh, you're not going to be able to see that. Anyways, here's a really small one. And then here's some more. They come in, like I said, all sorts of different colors and shapes. Here's some larger ones. Okay. As far as, sh um, it's also neat because they have them where they're colored um, with gem-like things on them. And here's a square one, and here's the ones that have, I don't think you can see it very well because they're so light, but they have patterns on them. Here's one with dots, kind of shady up there. And they have different sized ones, here's some bigger circle ones, and some multicolored square ones, there you go. They even have ones for Disney fans and fish fans and I just wanted to show you oh look and we also have these as you can see they're beach themed these are more architectural and I have a whole bunch of these I got a big old thing off of them with, off QVC one time it was a great deal okay anyways I have a whole box of those so there's those are pretty fun and they come in different finishes as well. And all you need to put them onto your page is a hole punch. Okay, so it's a punch, or you know, you can use one that you use for the eyelets. That works too, just fine. And then that way you can put it anywhere on the page. And you can, let's see, here's one example, but it's in a big book. These are some even bigger brads, as you can see. Ah, you can't see. I'll have to tilt the page a little bit so you can see it. But Brad's right here. Bigger ones so you can really see them on the page. It kind of holds that title down. And yes, my camera, I did not unflip it, so what you did see was backwards, even though it's correct in the book. And then here, you can also use it to hold down vellum. That way, if you don't have um, a Xyron machine, but you'd still like to use the vellum on the page, you can do that. As you can see right here, right here holding the vellum down on the page. That's my son in his school picture back in, wow, when he was in first grade. So that was four years ago. And then you can also use them to, there's this one, hold down metal pieces, as you can see right there. I don't know, it's a very small brad, but it's holding this charm on there. And there's some more down here, so it's kind of hard to see. But they're on there. And you can also use them for flowers. Here's one that came as a set with paper flowers. And then there's a the brad right there, as you can see, right there in the back. And then you can use, where'd that flower go? You can actually buy um, flowers too. Here's some flowers, and then they actually have holes in the middle. And you can just put your brad right on through them. They're simple to use. You simply punch the hole, and then stick the brad through. And then you take these ends at the bottom, See if I wasn't so klutzy there. Let's see if I can use a darker one so you can see better. If I wasn't so finger... Okay, you can't see it all. Let's try this one again. So I'm so dark here. Okay, so as you can see, you put this part through the paper, and then you just pull them apart, and then that's how it fastens, and you want to squash them all the way down flat. And... Or you can get um, the fake flowers that you have, and all you do is you take off the middle part. As you can see, whoops, I didn't show you it. it was in front of the camera. So as you can see, all you have to do is you just take this right off the top, you just pull it apart, and then that plastic part in the middle just comes right out, 
like this. Pop it right on out of there. And then you get left with the hole in the middle. And then you can just go ahead and find whatever brad will work for you. And you just stick it right through the hole and into the page. And bingo, then you have a brad in the middle. Okay? That really livens up a page. It makes it a bigger embellishment. So I hope that you enjoyed this today, and I hope that you have fun scrapping. Take care, and we will see you again soon. Bye.